The day has finally come. We are buying our first M car, specifically the M3. I've wanted one of these cars for a while now, and this is arguably the best M3 ever built. And tomorrow we are going to be picking it up. We have a four hour journey tomorrow, so I don't know if I'm going to sleep well tonight. Let's cut to the clip. This is going to be one long, long journey. I think it's going to be about four, four and a half hours. It's in Padstow, Cornwall, and obviously I'm in the West Midlands. It is early. As you can see, it is pitch black outside. Ready to go get an M3, lad? M3, day. It's the day. <laughs> like four hours. Let's go. I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly the hot. Fueled up. Let's make a move. <laughs> How long we got? Uh, two hours. About two hours, I think. Two hours. Let's do this. One hour forty-eight. Oh, okay. Trash. Right, almost there. What I'm gonna do is gonna have a look around the car, and then I'm gonna drive over somewhere. Then you can finally see. I'm not gonna show you yet. I'm gonna park it up. Then I'll show you what the car looks like. <laughs> Now, before we go into this car and actually have a look around it, what's been done to it, what the plans are for it, I want you guys to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You will help me with this car because I've taken a big risk with this car. I've dropped near enough all of my money for this car to help this channel. And I need you guys to help me as well. I need you to hit that subscribe button so I can actually say this car was a good purchase. Now, let's have a look around the car. So here she is in all her glory, the E92 M3 with that beautiful V8. Of course, I've been waiting a long, long time to buy an M3 and it has finally come. And I think I made a good choice with the E92. Of course, most of my cars I usually buy are completely scrap and then they end up looking nice. However, this one starts off pretty nice and hopefully we're going to make it look a bit better and also pumping out a load more content with this car because this car is just perfect for content in my eyes. But yeah, this is the car, the E92 M3. Now, I hope you guys agree with me when I say the E92 M3 is arguably one of the best M3s ever built or even the best. Now, that's a big statement. Of course, there are a lot of people out there that will say the F80 is the greatest M3 because it's the most popular and arguably the best looking, in my opinion, they are the best looking. You've got the G80, the new one, which is absolute, it's just a powerhouse. It beats everything, it looks good. It's got all the tech, but they don't have a V8. And that is why this car is arguably one of the greatest because it has that raw race car feel. Doesn't have a three liter turbo. It has a four liter V8 naturally aspirated and they sound insane as we all know. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I am going to do my own little twist on this car. Whether the BMW purists don't like it, I'm going to do it anyway, unfortunately. Like the carbon grills on this, they are not factory. The old owner actually left them in for me, which is great. Of course, the front end does look a bit vacant without a front splitter now. I think that is one of the main things I need to do for this front end because it kind of just looks a bit upsetting without a front grill it looks a bit sorry for itself also you have the stock e92 m3 wheels these need spacers as you can see 
that needs a little space on it and possibly some coilovers, of course. The double vented bonnet with the bonnet scoop is beautiful. That's how you can tell it's an E92 M3 straight off the bat. If you didn't know, look for the bonnet scoop. We have the carbon roof as well. Now, a lot of these carbon roofs on the E92s do have spotting, as you can see here. I'm gonna be pretty transparent with this car. It does have some spotting here and there, which are, you might have to let me know in the comments. I think they can be rectified, but I feel like it's moisture under the resin, so I'm not entirely sure. It might have to be taken all the way back. The wing mirrors, it's just a beautiful car. The rear fitment isn't actually that bad from factory, but I think, I do want to change these wheels. I do want to get some comp wheels and then I'll obviously put a space on there just so it fits a bit better. We do have this, this might be a bit Marmite. The full carbon, big, big wing. I think this is a GTS wing. Now, a lot of people don't like it, but a lot of people do like it. I'm not too sure on it yet, I don't know. I might just get a little carbon one that sits on the bottom, get rid of this, but I would have to get a new tailgate because that is drilled in both sides. The exhaust on this car isn't a standard exhaust. Well, it half is from the front all the way to the back box is standard. Then we have a valved back box on the rear, which I think sounds really good, near enough perfect for me. It's not too loud, it's not too crazy, but when you want to give it a, be a bit of beans, it sounds really good. Exterior wise, that is about as much as this car's had. Like it's pretty standard besides a little cosmetic mod here and there, like the grills and the spoiler. Everything else is pretty much standard. And of course, I want to do my own twist on it. I want to put a few bits on it because I want it to look as good as it possibly can. But the interior does have a few nice little mods that I do want to show you, which I'm really, really happy that it came with the car because usually the interiors on my cars, I don't pay too much attention to. I usually focus on the outside because I feel like if I'm driving, I want someone to see the car and think that's a really nice car, but they never actually get to see the inside. But this car has some nice goodies on the inside. For example, we have the Alcantara stitching on the center console and on the dashboard here, which I think is a really subtle, but really nice touch just down there. The handbrake as well looks really good. Alcantara steering wheel, which looks so good. Feels so nice when you're driving it. We do have standard seats. However, we do have blue seat belts, as you can see, which I actually really like. Some people may not like these, but I actually really like them. But that is pretty much it for the interior. It does have Apple CarPlay, which is basically a little thing in here which you wire in and then it automatically connects to your phone, which is a nice little touch as well. You get that modern technology in an old car. So there we have it. You all now know what the new car is and I hope I did make a good choice with the car. Let me know in the comments if you agree. If you don't, I want you to put that in the comments as well. Because I want to hear a difference of opinion. This car might not be to your taste or it might be your dream car. And if it is, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're going to be seeing a lot more of this car in the future. So if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content on this car, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.